Creating animated content is difficult. Even simple paper cutout animations require tediously composing each frame one at a time. Computer-based animation tools provide more precise controls, but are usually inaccessible to novices. In contrast, puppetry is a dynamic form of storytelling that performers of all ages and skill levels can engage in. We present an interface for quickly producing paper cutout style animation. Users work as puppeteers and create the animation by performing the character motions in real time. To create an animation, the user first constructs a cast of puppets using markers, plain white paper, and scissors. An overhead camera then captures a background plate and each puppet one at a time. The Puppet Builder module processes these raw images to generate mats and other data structures before adding the puppets to a puppet database. Our system also supports articulated characters such as this lumberjack. The user first captures each segment separately and then connects the segments at joints using a drag and drop interface. The Puppet Theater module tracks the physical motions of the puppets, interprets their motions to apply effects, and then renders the output animation. Our tracker combines two well-known techniques, SIFT and KLT. SIFT robustly recognizes and tracks the absolute position of puppets every 7 to 10 frames. It is too slow for real-time tracking. KLT tracks motions in real-time, but is unable to associate that movement with distinct objects. Thus, we use the results from SIFT to assign KLT features to each puppet. After tracking individual characters, they may be rendered together in a scene. This whimsical animation was created by an experienced puppeteer. The lower right-hand corner shows the puppeteer's hands as she manipulates the characters. In the story, a balloon gets stuck on a pineapple. A helpful lumberjack releases her and she flies away. One example of interpretation is that the different segments of articulated characters may be manipulated separately, and in the resulting animation, the character is merged to be connected at the joints. This is often easier than working with a hinged puppet. Some puppets aren't actually rendered into the scene, but rather trigger effects, like the direction of these fake shadows cast from the characters. Here the use of a moon puppet causes the rendering of the scene to shift towards darkness. Similarly, a snowflake puppet indicates that the weather should change to snowfall. Each snowflake is rendered as a separate sprite to introduce variations in their movements. To change scenes, the user presents the desired background. These framing hand puppets provide pan and zoom controls. This character runs through a walk cycle as it is moved around the scene. The scene also incorporates several 2.5D effects. For example, the kid gets smaller near the horizon and can walk behind various pop-up parts of the scene, such as the house and the tree. Using this GUI, the user can adjust the parameters of the 2.5D effect, including the horizon height and the scale of the character at the horizon. Here the animator adjusts parameters of an automatic walk cycle for a walking man. For example, power walking or running. And here is the character walking in the scene. Note it works just as well for quadrupeds, or even octopeds. This animation was created by merging the simultaneous performances of two remote users. The storm cloud puppet also shows an attached rain effect. The rain effect was attached to the storm cloud puppet via another special purpose GUI shown here. Our system also allows for recording animations in multiple passes. The user can first perform the puppet's gross motion with the body and later fill in the motions of the limbs. Puppet segments can also be automated, like the eyes of this octopus, which always follow the fish. This adventure story was created by an 11-year-old.
The fire is an animated cycle triggered by a special flame puppet. Similarly, a special state change puppet turns the knight character crispy. Our final effect uses peaks in an audio stream to trigger the advancement of a flipbook animation of a character's mouth. In summary, our system provides a simple interface whereby people of all skill levels can create cutout style animations by manipulating puppets.